I've been scrolling through some of my footage, uh, actually all my footage that I have from episode uh, one, which is actually episode to my channel seven. So I been I deleted almost every single footage that I have besides the final videos, like all the raw footage, and I saved just one. There's one that I wanted to do. That there's one uh, segment that I wanted to re-edit which is that's installing the garage door opener. So I want to re-edit this and see how it turns out. And how I hope, hopefully I don't make an, uh, a complete ass out of myself. So, so this is this. All right, so I just got back from Home Depot, uh, and now I bought the correct freaking uh, garage door opener, and uh, I actually saved seventy bucks uh, by getting this one and returning the other one because this one was one hundred fifty, and the other one was two hundred. But I got uh, uh, but I got a discount, but I got that discount back. So, so I saved uh, 70 bucks, so I spent that on a, I got a grinder, sorry, a bench grinder, and I splurred, my wife is going to kill me on this, but I did get a brushless jigsaw. that again so I'll keep that out you know what I'll use this one instead Perfect. I mean, you know, this one's great and everything, but this one has the speed that... This one has the speed that you want. That's freaking awesome. That has the... Seriously, that's a good impact driver. Alright, so this... Next, this gets put on the end. Everything is aligned, yes. This way, I believe. I doubt it. I could I could bring out a bunch of stuff to make that happen, but I got my socket set out already, so I'm just gonna tighten it with the socket. Luckily I do have these. Wow, that's heavy. I got this done so far. This is up on top of here. Just that's good to go. Now I just gotta create a support from the rafters down to the garage opener, and then uh, finish up. All right, what 
what I gotta do now is I gotta cut one more board at 58 inches. Yeah, like I said, it would help if your the battery had some juice. Now I, now I think it has some juice, so let's try this again. Oh my god. Alright, alright, wow. Wow! Oh my god. Oh my god. You know, normally, you know how it is, that thing would be vibrating like a son of a- Oh my god. But holy, that is smooth! My freaking dog. Hey, don't you worry about the sawdust on me. Ryobi got me covered. See what that's that should be good right there. Two of those. I love all my Ryobi products, I do. Now, hopefully, that cable will reach from going up there to over there. It should. Doesn't really have a choice. Perfect. See, I, I love it how lights look like that. It looks good. And yes, like I said before, I do not have power in this garage. So what I did do is, because of the previous owner, you know, I told you about the gas lines. But he, so I, I put in one of the holes he made an extension cord that goes from the back of the fridge, from the back of the fridge, through the, the back ends of the cabinet, to a previous hole that was already existing. Then I feed it up there, go across, go to over there. So he, I know Murphy is gonna go crazy over this. Uh, double fisting here. This guy that comments on ed every single video I do saying that I'm drunk. Please don't fall, I don't want to get back down. I don't fall, camera. Success!
Let's see this guy in close-up action. Let's see what that does. And it plugs right in, just like that. Boom! Get that. Fantastic. Oh, yes. All right, so now, for obvious reasons on its purpose, now all I gotta do is bring this down. And I have power. Just because of the situation that I, I have that OnePlus system on here, I'm going to use it. We are putting this on. Got the daylight oil burning. Sorry, the way that I filmed back then was completely different than how I film now. And uh, there's a couple, just a couple of things I wanted to point out to the about the garage, about the uh, one plus garage door opener, uh, the a 1.5 amp hour. Because I did some testings in a, a previous video. After doing the testings, the results are completely different than what I thought they would be. Now, if you put a, a, a 1.2, a 1.3 amp hour battery in there, you can open and close it for, for a while. All right, but if you let it sit and do nothing, that battery is going to drain on you uh, because it has to do the Wi-Fi system. It has to do, it does, it does everything but the accessories. I thought the Wi-Fi would just turn off when it comes to the app on the phone, but it has to receive all the transmissions from every device. So a 1.5 amp hour, uh, 1.3 amp hour battery lasted, with opening the garage, opening and closing the garage door once, it lasted less than 12 hours. So if you have a night, so if you uh, have that one plus garage door opener and no power, uh, no power source, Get a couple of nine amp hour batteries to uh, to uh, so, to support that until you get power to it, because uh, the four amp a one point three amp hour battery lasted less less than twelve hours, which real realistically nine, and so a four amp hour battery would probably last you a day it, it, if you open and close it a couple of times, which you probably would. So like but like a one point three amp hour battery lasted less than twelve hours with opening and closing it once. Open it, open and close. And so the rest of it was just Wi-Fi and the, that light turning on. Like if I walk in here, you know, the light would be on. So yeah, most of the time I wasn't even home. So, but I am sorry that I put you through this. I wanted to re-edit this video just to see what I can do. And so th that's that. So uh, it's just some more information about that OnePlus Garage Rover, which I love, by the way. I still need a lot of other accessories for it. I want every accessory port filled to the max. So that's pretty much it for this episode. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.